hey guys what's up everyone so in this video we'll discuss about this problem bitwise end of numbers range so given a range m comma n where this condition is satisfied return the bitwise end of all the numbers in this range inclusive now one, one simple solution that comes to our mind is to take bitwise end of all the numbers from m to n one by one now this solution is correct but it might throw a tle in case the range is large enough so let us try to see a better solution to this problem Suppose we are given two numbers 9 and 12. So what I did is I represented the numbers from 9 to 12 that is 9, 10, 11, 12 over here in the binary format. Now there is an observation about and this is not a property just an observation. So for a series of bits something like this as long as there is one bit of zero value then the result of and operation on the series of bits would be zero. What it means is for the bit zero since zero exists over here and over here so we need at least one zero so the resultant for this is going to be zero similarly for this bit as you can see at least one zero exists resultant is zero for this as well the resultant is zero for this there is no zero so the resultant is one and for this the resultant is zero what what we can convey from this is the resultant is just going to be because of the common prefix between the numbers m to n so let us see over here okay so here 9 10 11 12 are represented in binary and what we are saying is when we take the end of all the numbers the resultant is going to be because of the common prefix between m to n why is that because on this part at least one zero exists in each of the bit so the resultant is going to be zero so what we can say from here is if we are able to find this common prefix then this will be the answer to our question now let us look at more carefully what we are saying is the common prefix between numbers m to n is same as the common prefix between the numbers m and n which is written over here so what when what i'm saying is you do not need to take the common prefix between all the numbers you just take the common prefix between m and n and that would be the solution to the problem so now our problem reduces in finding the common prefix between the two numbers m and n so m was 9 and n was 12 they are represented over here in binary format so we will what we will do is we will right shift by one at each step and we will stop when m equal equal n correct so currently m is 9 and n is 12 they are not equal we will right shift both by one so this will drop off and this will drop off we will come over here here m is 4 n is 6 they are not equal we will drop off the last bit both zeros so we will come to this iteration for this iteration m is 2 n is 3 they are not equal we will drop off again and finally we reach over here where m is 1 n is 1 so they are equal so what we will do is now we will just take the left shift of either m or n in this state with a number of iterations so let me write the code for this and the things will be more clear then so we'll maintain a variable i which will count the number of iterations and we will run a loop such that while m is not equals to n now what we will do is we will right shift both of them by one one by one and we will increment the number of iterations now when m equal equal n we can simply return m left shift number of iterations you can also return n left shift i which is same as m left shift i let me submit this code so it got accepted so okay let me just revise the concepts one more time so initially our question was to find the bitwise end of all the numbers between the range m and n over here we looked at the bitwise end of all the numbers from m to n is same as the common prefix between all the numbers m and n and we looked at the common prefix between all the numbers from m to n is same as the common prefix between the two numbers m and n so our problem is reduced to find the common prefix between the two numbers m and n which we find out using this algorithm okay so i guess that's it from the video so in case you learned anything from the video you can hit that like button and you can subscribe to my channel for future videos thank you all